So a little while ago, I started a video series on how to draw the head from imagination. And I went over the structure of the skull and, and so forth and how to build uh, a head using that. And, um, and at times, not necessarily going through all the steps, but keeping in mind um, the structure underneath. So in that, in, in that way, I'm going to build up this drawing of myself. That's a, a photograph of myself that my son took for me. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how I would use the knowledge of what's underneath to build um, up my drawing. And I'm still measuring and, 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 and uh, thinking like I, I did a line down the middle and, and I tried to measure in thirds as far as where the, the, the brow starts, the nose goes, the lips, the chin and so forth. But I'm, I'm not drawing out what you would call uh, that Loomis guideline or uh, w whatever guideline you might use to draw the head. I am keeping in mind of where everything is at and I'm trying to relate all these, uh, uh, all these things that I'm putting down to, to, um, to the finished idea of where, you know, in my mind, I know where the skull is. I know where the structure is. I know what I'm trying to, what the goal is that I'm trying to shoot for as far as the structure of this head. So with that in mind, I'm measuring, but I'm not putting everything in an envelope. That is to say, I'm not drawing the, 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 the head in, in terms of uh, doing the whole outline of the head. I'm going ahead and, and uh, starting off, I started off with measuring where the brow was going to be and then measuring where the nose is and, and just putting a mark there and where from there where the, 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 the um, underneath the mustache where the lips would be and then from there at the end of the, the, the beard and so forth. So I'm carefully measuring um, and in the beginning what's important to know is that your lines are not going to be perfect. They're not going to sum up everything and, uh, and everything is open to change and that has to be a, a, a commitment that you're you, you have to be humble enough to know when you've made a mistake and quick to change that mistake and the way and measuring is the way of checking whether or not you've made a mistake like I'm, I'm trying to relate each part to the other one that I put down like if I, I um, measure where the nose is in relationship to the eyes also looking at the shapes like there's a shadow shape that goes between uh, almost a little past halfway down from the nose uh, to the cheek area and I measure that shape and, and that that has that that um, that eye on the left all in shadow and that and also the cheek and also so I'm, I'm looking at how these shapes are connected and how it, it helps form the head now Everything is open to change at this point, but it's important to be as precise as you can um, and also realize that, that, you know what, you're making your best guess, and that's what I'm doing. I'm making my best guess, but I'm going to make mistakes. And see, right now I drew the line where the mustache goes over to that crease in the cheek and from the nose and how it makes a little triangle and I'm aware of that shape so that shape helps me to find that space between the nose and 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 the mustache and um, so I'm looking at the shapes next to each other and and trying to piece together this thing almost like a jigsaw puzzle and I'm going slow and deliberate now I'm going to speed up speed up this video in a little while but I, I want to first show it in real time to see how deliberate uh, I am putting down these lines and making decisions. I'm, I'm trying to take my time with it. Um, one of the things I'm awful at is, um, is rushing things. So I have to um, tell myself that there's plenty enough time to do this. Uh, um, but... I want to be able to do it without making mistakes or realizing that I'm going to make mistakes, but to make as few mistakes as possible. So I'm going to need that, that, that I'm going to need the measure and I'm going to need 
to be as precise as I can. The more precise I am at the beginning means less work at the end. Now, the beginning is, is always going to be my best guess. My best guess as far as where things go, as far as measuring things out, and so forth. And I try to draw out the shapes and, 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 and make sure that I make the best decisions as far as what I see to... to, to um. Also, I'm not just trying to draw what I see. I'm trying to simplify what I see. I'm trying to find these shapes and and um, and make it more simple. And because I don't need every single detail, I, I want to, I guess, give a more graphic impact. You know, um, as far as the lines and the values are concerned. Um, but I don't know if that makes any sense just yet. But hopefully, you'll see it as I I, I work towards the end, in that I try to simplify the image. And um, not draw every wrinkle or every hair and so forth, but draw what I think is the most important thing to to um, to to make the image come across. Now, um, that I remember, uh, I believe reading a, a story about uh, the illustrator Frigetta, how he talked about uh, watching this movie, and then you can barely see. The details in 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 some of the things that that he was watching, and he was remarking is that that's all you need to tell your story, you don't need to overdo it, um, and you look at the paintings of um, illustrators and 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 like Dean Cornwell and so forth, and you will see that a lot of it is kind of like a, um, uh, I guess uh, not to say a shorthand, but it, it looks very blocky, like a blocking in. So that he he puts the details that are important to tell his story, and he combines everything. Um, he combines everything to 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 uh, a kind of whole to to make it, uh, it everything relates to one another. And I don't know how to explain it well enough to say that it, it's like there's nothing in the painting that doesn't belong there. There's no detail that's just there for its own sake. There's no uh, um, there's no color that's there for its own sake. Everything is precise. I think the best painter or the best illustrator um, to that exemplifies that is the the work of J. C. Leyendecker, because you look at his brushstrokes and there there's so uh, there, there, there there's so many of them and they're so they, they it seems like at first you you might think that this it, the painting is all just about the brushstrokes. But when you look at the brushstrokes, every brushstroke is describing something. There's a reason for that brushstroke being there. And whether it means um, that brushstroke describes a, a, a highlight, that highlight also describes where the form turns. And the same things with the, um, the shadows and so forth. There's a reason for the brushstroke isn't there for its own sake. It's there to describe something. But the way he does it is is um i guess a very artful way where it, it it it's it's his own signature and 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 you know everybody's looking for a style but i think that um it, it it's a style with a purpose it's just not something that 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 um uh looks cool for its own sake you know so um again um um Getting back to this drawing now. So the the beginning is all your best guess. The middle process is all about correcting. All about making sure that your best guesses were the right guesses. And so I'm always like I'm, I'm constantly changing things. And I'm using a program called Leonardo here. First, let me mention that. And one of the reasons why I like using this program because it's very, very simple. And it's not a lot of... Uh, um, techie stuff. I, there's not a lot of uh, uh, what am I called filters that I apply or anything like that. The only thing I, I'm using is the pencil tool and the eraser tool. I'm not even doing undo. Um, the reason for this is because I want very much that whoever follows along can follow along with uh, um, with a pen, pencil and eraser, and that's it. A pencil, eraser, and a piece of paper. Now the only thing that I do. And in, in, in that's, that's different is 
um, I change the layers. Like I have this layer and I bring it down, say about 60% more or less, and, and I draw. And then um, I add another layer, but that's really equivalent as just going over the whole thing with a light pencil because I save the darks for later. Right now, I'm going over this whole thing lightly so that I can put down, um, I, I can put down and uh, make whatever corrections I need and then come back, I, I kind of head towards the dark, the, the darker, more uh, decisive lines much later on after I'm more sure that everything is where it belongs. So, um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and, and speed this video up in another minute. But uh, you can see that I, I basically, as I was talking, uh, I was measuring. I was measuring. I was looking at shapes and trying to put not put down not details. I'm not worried about the details yet. What I'm worried about, or what I'm concerned about, is getting the shapes right if I if I first look towards the big shape like the sh like what I'm drawing now the shape of the hair and look towards um, how that hair is shaped I can go back into it and and um, put in the details in a sense I am making that envelope but I'm making that envelope for dis different pieces and I'm putting it together kind of like a jigsaw puzzle you know, so in the middle, again, I say, you know, I, I save it for corrections. The end is deciding the more definite lines or values that I put down so that by then I, I make my finish, uh, um, uh, make make the decisions I, I'm going to live with at the end as far as the drawing is concerned. Now, but even then, I got to always be open to changes. I oh, got to always be open to uh, corrections that I'm going to make. So all of this is a bunch of uh, what the drawing is, is a bunch of uh, uh, guesses and corrections until finally I come down to what those best guesses are um, and, and, and accept those at the end. So I'm going to go right ahead and speed this video up and then uh, probably say a little something over at the end. All right.
So this is not the end of the video, or I'm not even close to finishing the drawing, but what I wanted to show here was that I, I basically got the drawing down as far as making all the measurements and so forth. So I'm at probably what you might uh, consider the middle of the drawing. So what I'm going to start to do in a, in a little while is begin to, uh, like right now I'm adding another layer, so that means I'm going to go a little bit darker in making some decisions. And these are not my final uh, darker uh, um, tones yet, but I am um, trying to be more definite in in um, what I'm picking out to be that, that will last till the end of the drawing. Uh, or will last at the end of the drawing. So I'm trying to make more definite decisions and more definite and, and, and make more corrections now that I have basically the whole drawing down on uh, on the canvas. Um, but um, again, it's not perfect. I'm still at this point, I'm still at making corrections. I'm still at a point of deciding what's going to be uh, the end uh, statement as far as uh, the lines that I put down and so forth. So, but um, at this point, um, I, I have my best guess down first, and now I'm I'm going over and making sure that my best guess is a, a little bit more precise before I go ahead and and put in what's final. So that's at the stage that I'm at right now. So I hope you can see that even as I the drawing is speed up, that or sped up, um, that I'm still not really going in for details here, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm even though I'm picking up smaller and smaller details, I'm I'm trying to consider the bigger shapes first, and then as I break that down into smaller and smaller shapes then you, you the details start to emerge but I'm not going straight in for details I'm first developing the larger shape that envelopes a certain area like you take the eye that I'm working on um, I'm taking like the the larger shape that envelopes that area then I come back a into it and then I start picking out smaller shapes within that shapes and as I continue to work on it the details begin to emerge
So right about this time is where I start coming into the final stages of the drawing. Now, um, this drawing, uh, even though I sped up the video, uh, at this point, this drawing is, all, is probably a little bit over an hour long that I've been working on this drawing. And I'm trying to, right now, come into uh, the darker areas. Even though I, I picked the gray out, you can see from um, the, the, the color triangle there, I, I, I selected a uh, gray. Still, this uh, layer is a higher opacity than the layers beneath it, so that um, um, it'll, it'll appear darker than what's underneath. So it's like pressing more darker on your pencil. Or picking a, a, a you know a darker pencil to go over what what's underneath so I'm, I'm going into more definite darks here but also um, thinking and considering where uh, where it needs to change now sometimes I can make the corrections with the pencil sometimes I can make the corrections by erasing some of the areas that, that are incorrect and going over it again with uh, with the pencil and, and making the changes but at this point is where I'm making more definite decisions because I'm more confident that the shapes that are down are um, are the ones that, that, that will last you know at the end of the drawing So I'm coming at the end of the drawing now, and I'm hoping that what I successfully demonstrated, I hope it was a success, is that even though I didn't draw out um, the whole volume of the head before I start, I was still measuring things with considering that also, because I, I've, I've practiced drawing it for so long that I have an idea of what it is that I'm trying to achieve in terms of uh, the structure of the head and so forth. So that those were like, um, 
I guess, elementary things or, or that that was just a given that that was the thing that um, that was going to hold this drawing together. And I considered it um, as I was uh, approaching the drawing. Sometimes I, I go ahead and use, I start from the beginning and do all the fundamentals. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I know what it is that I want to draw and want to draw out from either the reference or from what I see drawing in life and that I approach it that way. But regardless of the method that I use, it's always with understanding the entire structure what's underneath because I practiced it. I practiced it before. Now that doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes, but that was the whole uh, point of carefully measuring, considering the shapes, and going in there and um, trying to be as precise as possible in the beginning also knowing that I'm going to make changes towards the end uh, or as I go on and develop the drawing. So anyway, that's pretty much uh, the end of this video. I hope that uh, this video was useful. I hope that it was constructive as far as showing uh, a method of drawing or a way of drawing. Uh, um, and also, if you would consider, I do have a Patreon page. You can join me on Patreon and uh, view more of my work, watch more of my videos, and includes, uh, you get neat stuff like a, a sketchbook at the end of the month and a high resolution image as well. And also, uh, I would put videos that are only available on Gumroad apart from uh, being available on Patreon. So uh, I would put my Gumroad videos on Patreon as well. So there are uh, videos, there are uh, sketchbooks and artwork and so forth so please join me on patreon or if you want to purchase uh, a video uh, look at the videos i have on my gumroad page all of those will have a link underneath thank you and uh, until next time bye bye